I want to talk about design of chutes. Good equipment is going to make it easier to handle your animals. Now, when I did this survey, some of the plants actually had some older facilities, and I want to make it very clear that even in the older plants, I could get a, an acceptable welfare score with the older equipment. But new equipment makes it easier. I can get a prod score down to 95% no prods in the very best plants, where in the plants with the less good equipment, I might only be able to get 85 to 90% in without the prods. One of the reasons why a curved race works better is because the animals come around the curve, they think they're going back to where they came from. Notice that we've got solid sides on this chute. That's really important. Layout is a, you've got to have proper layout. If you lay these things out wrong, they will not work. Now notice on this diagram, you've got a right and a wrong layout. And the wrong layout's dead ended. An animal that's standing in that crowd pen has to be able to see up there two to three body lengths before the turn. I cannot emphasize this enough. This is the absolutely worst layout mistake you can make. And sometimes the only way you can fix it is to rip out the system. You gotta lay them out right. This diagram just shows a whole layout for a large meat plant with a curved lane coming up around crowd pen, curved with single file going up into the plant, shows some of the different ways you can lay it out. There's a lot of different ways you can lay these things out. Have long, narrow pens on the diagonal with a one-way traffic flow. The animals go in one end, come out the other end, come around the curved lane. They always keep thinking they're going back to where they came from. That's one of the reasons why it works so well. This just shows a, a picture of a curved a serpentine system I designed. And uh, this, I had to lay this one out custom. This particular plant had a very restricted site. And I had to kind of stuff it in there. But notice, as the cattle come off the crowd pen, they can see up there two or three body lengths before it turns. Notice there's a little straight section there as you come off that round crowd pen. Now you'll see a little square roof thing there. That's just the, uh, the worker's little uh, coffee room there. I wish that roof wasn't there, you know, blocking the, you know, showing the layout. But you can see that piece is straight and then it curves. The trick is they got to see a place to go. Then you take them on around the corner. This shows the wide curved lane coming up to the round crowd pen. Another advantage of curves is the animals don't see people up ahead. Curved races and lanes are especially recommended for cattle. They work well with sheep. Uh, pigs will work, will work pretty well in, in straight systems. But a pigs will work well in a round crowd pen because as a pig comes around, he thinks he's running back up the race. But you can use a straight single file race with pigs. This is an aerial photograph of a herringbone pen layout where the pens are laid out like sergeant stripes and the animals come in an alley on the side and then walk up a center alley up to the stunning area. All one way traffic flow. This just shows another view of it. Notice that the gate is also on an angle. If you have a three meter wide or 10 foot wide alley then you want to have a 12 foot or 3.5 meter gate. Also notice that that gate has a belly rail. That makes the cattle respect the gate. It's not practical to have totally solid gates out in the yards because the wind can get them blowing all around. But just have a belly rail, a two foot wide belly rail right at eye height and the animals will respect the gate. This shows a layout uh, for restricted space. So I could fit a nice curved layout in a little bitty place and still make it work. And as you come around that serpentine and go into the restrainer, uh, the cattle will go right around those tight bends. But again, when they're standing in that crowd pen, they've got to see a piece of straight. In other words, they've got to see a place to go. Then you can go around a really tight bend. This just shows some animals in a plant going around the very tight bends. This is just another serpentine and another plant. Now notice there you have a piece of straight single file. B 
before it curves. And that piece of straight single file along the bottom of that picture joins into the crowd pen. Now we've got one bad thing in that picture. There's a white coat hanging up there on the railing, and that's just the sort of thing that can scare animals and make them balk. That, that shouldn't have been there. 